All right, morning everyone. So today I'm starting a project that I've been planning for a long time, but it just it keeps getting put off, other things come up. And now we've got some stuff going on this year that I really wanna get this one done. So let's get this thing going. In the sugar house, the plan is to get all of the exposed rafters um, in the original sugar house closed up and get them get this insulated and covered in pine boards. I want to give it the same look as the addition with the, the pine boards, the V-match up over the top. We did one by four on the walls and it's one by eight on the ceilings. Um, and I just think it like dresses it up a lot and I want to get this side done. It's not just as simple as just putting some insulation and pine boards up on this one. Um, when I built the sugar house, I, I'm no professional carpenter by any stretch of the imagination. So I just did what I thought I could do, trying to save money doing it myself, you know, bootstrapping this thing. And there's some real issues and most of it stems with the flashing on the cupola. You could see daylight in a bunch of spots and then it leaks and I just need to get this tight before I put any pine boards up. So I ordered the metal roofing, um, I guess about a week ago, I picked it up the other day. So that's here that I need as well as um, the trim that I'm gonna need and the flashing. But I've gotta start and take the flashing off the cupola, but I also need to change the roofing out because there's screw holes in it that aren't gonna work because everything's changing because the way the flashing's gonna change. So I get to re-roof that entire section, but yeah, it is what it is. Now you look, you can see I just wasn't even close. I mean, there's, there's spots where, I mean, I'm touching boards there and it, it it worked well it didn't really work I got the first side stripped, got the stack out, that was a chore. Um, flashing's off, and this is all ready. So now it's just a matter of stripping the rest of it. Of course, when I was up here, I started looking at stuff, and I had like a ridge pole coming out that I had a block and tackle hanging off of just for looks. Well, I didn't do a good job of protecting it, so now that's full of rot. So now I get to redo the trim on the front and get rid of that. So just another thing I have to do, which is awesome. But, oh well end of day one uh, roof on the cupola and the original structure has been stripped um, got the flashing off I did run into that rot that I've got to deal with what I think I'm going to be able to do though is just change that fascia board but I don't have that and today's Saturday so Sunday they won't be open I'll have to get that Tuesday my way home from work get that stained and I can change out that fascia board I'll get that down tomorrow though but I've got the new roofing all laid out as to where it's going to go because they're all custom cuts and 
I got the first round of stain on these boards. Um, I had leftover stain, but two um, gallons or partial gallons weren't any good, so I couldn't put the second coat on, but that's the, the new boards for the cupola up there. So found a couple things that are gonna make this a little bit of a project, but nothing we can't get through. All right, cupola is now stripped. Uh, gables are off, the soffits are off. So now I get to start putting the metal back up on. Then on Tuesday, then the flashing will go on, then I can board this thing back up. So everything's a process. All right, back at it today. Wasn't able to finish up the other day, so I wrapped it with a tarp to keep as much water out as I could while we were on vacation. But now um, I'm gonna go up and try and get this flashing done. So I'm gonna take the tarp off half of it. That way, if I have to put it back on, I can. Um, borrowed a siding brake from one of my buddies that's gonna allow me to bend up the flashing, get it to the right angle. And then uh, this thing should, hopefully, I'd like to get this thing done today and maybe tomorrow, but hopefully, we'll see.
Flashing's done. Um, that came out as good as it was going to be with me doing it. Which actually, I'm pretty happy with it. I got one spot that just needs a little bit of caulking as well as the four corners. Um, but this thing, yeah, it looks a lot better. I mean, it's already tighter. So now I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to start working on these boards and get these up so that I can try and get this thing closed up. Um, probably not today, but tomorrow definitely. Back for another day. Um, goal today to get the cupola closed in completely. I'd like to get these soffits done. I just don't know if I'll have time to get the soffit done, but these, um, the shiplap, I've already stained it, so that I don't have to fight with. Um, now it's just a matter of measuring some boards and cutting them, so here we go. Other than a little bit of staining that's needed on some pieces that I ran out of pre-prime stuff, or well, stained, um, 
the cupola project's done. That's all hooked up and ready to go. Just a little bit of trim left to go on here. I'm waiting for that to come in. But yeah, that project's done, which was one of the big ones before I could put the boards up inside, which will probably start this weekend. But. All right, back at it today. It's This project's taken far too long, but um, all the insulation is up. There's a little bit to do up along the edges of the cupola. I just have to adjust that as I get the boards up, but the pieces keep falling down. It's gonna be easier to do that after the fact. Um, but today I'm gonna start the pine boards going up. I'm gonna start on this side and then work my way up. So hopefully I can get this side plus part of that side done today, but um, I'll get a short day because I've got to do some taxi services later. So let's get to it. And with that, the project here is just about complete. So that I started to do with the eight inch and then realized I didn't want the eight inch, so I wanted to continue with the six inch, so I had to go get that. Um, it's polyed, it's just gonna take a little while for the yellow to come out of it, which it should do that pretty quick. Um, but everything on this ceiling is done. Couple little details to fine tune left in here. Um, I am gonna eventually put some metal up there just to dress that up a little bit. Poly around that outlet, I did trim um, the wood around that a little bit, and then just some minor details. And then now I can get the hood hung back up. And then this place is ready to go, which is good because it's been a damn disaster for a month now. And I've got to bottle some syrup. So get this place cleaned up tomorrow and uh, should be ready to go. But we'll see you guys in the next one and I'm not sure what's next, but something. Mm -hmm. 